Come on, hit my head. Lads, when you leave your hair wax at home when you're about to start filming for a whole day, I'm trying to get some moisture in my locks. Ready for today's shoot, all right? Come on, weather. Right, guys, welcome back to a new video. We are here with the Focus ST at Asbo Autos, joined by the legend himself. Now, to those of you OG subscribers, you will know that you did the intercooler video with me. Yeah. We did the Forge Recirc video with you. Yeah. And we also did the Focus RS Clutch. Yeah. Now, guys, although that was ages ago, I mean, literally ages ago, we unboxed it out there. We did it on the ramp down at the back. We're going to be doing something quite exciting. Now, you saw at BD Performance, that we did the color changing RGBs controlled by an iPhone app, courtesy of AutoBeam, which are right here. We had already fitted those. And I did actually tell you in the video that we were gonna also be doing the daytime running lights, which are right here. Now guys, I thought when editing the video that there was no point in fitting the daytime running lights because you probably tuned out of the video by the time I would have fitted them. So we're here at Asbo Autos, we're gonna be fitting them today. We're gonna be taking out the color changing RGBs and comparing them to the daytime running lights that you've just seen the saucy B-roll clips of previously. Now, obviously with Will's help, who I'm gonna introduce you to now, he's gonna pop his head in front of the camera. This is Big Will. Any of my friends will know that he quite literally is massive, but that's besides the point. He has got a production media company, specializes in really saucy photos and all kinds of videography, so he's been helping me out today. But yeah, like I said, with Rich's help, down here at Asbo Autos, we're gonna be fitting those lights and we're gonna show you just how sick they are and hopefully compare them either side. Right guys, so just to put this scene in context, off camera, I've had a bit of a tantrum because I forgot to put wax on my hair. My hair's super fluffy, <laughs> especially in this kind of weather. So I've nicked my cameraman's hat. So in case you wonder why I've now got a hat on and I didn't have one before, that's your answer. Right, so we're, we've got a little table right next to the car so that we can try and run through the difference in the products that I've got in the car, the products that come standard with the ST225, and when I say products, I mean the fog lights, and what we're gonna be upgrading to, which in this instance is the H11 DRL fog unit. So obviously I'm gonna give these to you so that you can give a bit of a, not so much an idea as to what they are, but more your opinion on the feel or the quality. And then we're gonna uh, give you a little bit of a, an info update, I suppose, as to what they are, what difference they're gonna offer you, what value they're gonna offer you, and which one we think is better before we compare them in the car itself. So what do you reckon? I feel quite robust, don't I? Yeah, so they're actually in an aluminium shell, whereas the yeah. ones that are standard are more plasticky and yeah, tacky, plastic, as you know. Yeah. I mean, you have a Focus ST as well. This is why we come down here. Yeah, I mean, they feel quite robust. Like. So these will set you back 100 pounds, guys. They are obviously a, a direct install or a direct replacement of the ones that are in the car of standard. Obviously, in our instance, we have the RGB color changing ones. Obviously, the bulb itself goes into the standard unit, whereas this itself is the unit, if that makes any sense at all. Obviously, if you want any information on these, I will link it all in the description section, so there will be a full write-up there included with the link to the actual website as well, where I'm sure they'll have a much more professional version of. But yeah, obviously we've got the RGBs in. So I think what we should do is leave the color changing one on the left hand side, guys. Replace the color changing one on the right hand side with the H11 fog unit here, the daytime running light. And then I think following towards the end of the video, we'll take out the color changing one and replace them both with the H11 fog unit so that we can really show and just demonstrate how good these ones look. Appreciate it's not dark. I'll try and get a clip later on tonight if it is dark and it's not raining. But yeah. Um, we can always shut the door down, switch the lights off. To be fair, we can do that. They are waterproof, so obviously in this weather, it's not gonna be a big issue. But yeah, I'm curious. I have no idea how they're gonna look. Obviously, it's been a while. I've had these sat in my living room based on the fact that I couldn't fit them at BD Performance. But yeah, guys, we've got a wiring kit that comes with it. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's fairly simple. Is this something that someone can do on their drive or is it gonna take maybe an auto electrician? I'd say you should be able to do this on your drive. Um, yeah. As long as you've got right, you can make connectors up on the end here. Yeah to join okay. it up to your battery and etc. You should basically be able to fit this, yeah. You wanna make sure it's unlocked. There we go. Always put this latch down as well because if the bonnet then falls down. Right guys, so it's probably about time that we take the one out of the side here so that we can leave one fog unit there and then we can actually plug the DRL into that one. Now I'm obviously gonna be using Rich's help here He's been messing around with it down there. What have you been up to? Have you been plugging it into a battery or something? Yeah, I've got it tested so we see, see it working, so I can just plug it in. Ah, that looks so sick. I don't know if the camera can see that, 
I really hope it doesn't uh, put it out of shot, but we may as well get started and remove the actual unit from the car and show you just how it's done. So guys, you're gonna need the Torx 25 to remove this piece, it's super simple. There's just one bolt in here. I'm gonna get down low and try and remove it without scratching all the paint off. But yeah, it is super easy. Like I said, it's just the one bolt. Take that out like so. It comes out super easy. Right, there we go. Right, so this unit comes out, super simple. Now guys, this is super plasticky, feels super cheap. This is the standard one that comes with the car compared to the aluminium DRL H11 fog unit they've got here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this one in, in replacement of this one, and then we're gonna show you the difference between the color changing RGB from Auto Beam and then the H11 DRL fog unit that we've got right here. All right, so you wanna find somewhere down here where we can secure the unit so it doesn't obviously flop around and stop, you know, bite the headlight or anything like that and damage it itself. So if we're gonna secure it down here, kit comes with loaded cable ties. Is it fairly simple then, Rich? Yeah, it seems pretty straightforward. All comes with nice, good quality plugs. So now you're just plugging in the unit or you're just wiring it in? I'm gonna plug it in and I'll, I'll screw it in as well. So it's all yeah, secure. Yeah, cool. Keep it watertight as well. The actual screws themselves are just here, all right? Just in case you wanna plug those in. Yeah. So guys, you can see here that the fog lights actually come on around there. <laughs> and we can also see that the RGB light, or at least the fog light version of, is working as well. Now, once we actually wire it in properly, the daytime running lights will come on, which are the cool shapes that you saw earlier. But yeah, I guess we're gonna have to get that done and uh, we'll show them what it looks like afterwards. Right, Rich, this is our chance. I'm gonna take my phone and we're gonna use this to compare the DRL that's on the right-hand side and the fog light that's on the left-hand side that acts as both a fog and the color changing light that can be used at car shows. Yeah. So guys, as seen in previous TikTok videos, I'm gonna be using this app right here. You guys can see that. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch it on. As you can see, I've got the color changing options here that you guys can see in the background. And we're gonna leave that one on in blue, which is easy for you guys to see. And then we're gonna turn on the DRL side light, which is on the right hand side, so you guys can see the difference. Do you want the fog or the DRL? Let's do the fog first. Okay, so that's actual fog lights, guys. As you can see, on the left-hand side, we've got a super bright, regular fog light. And on the right-hand side, I do notice that it's not as bright, but that's also a good thing because it's not as blinding, which I personally think is a good option. What do you guys reckon? It's not so blinding, it's not gonna annoy anyone going past. They both do the job. They're both fog lights, they're both white, they're both super bright. Now, what's gonna happen here is that when we switch off the fogs and go to side lights, the DRLs are gonna come on on the right-hand side and we're gonna go back to the color changing option, as you can see on the left. So I think having looked at this, which one I prefer is definitely the DRLs on the right hand side. I'm gonna to continue to take out the color changing ones on the left. We're gonna be using those as a giveaway, which we'll explain slightly later on in the video. But for now, let's get to it. Let's take out the left headlight or the driver's side headlight. Let's get the color changing lights out and let's show them what they look like both together. Yeah. Well, we can uh, pull the door down, shut the lights off, and we can show them out, you know, in here. That also sounds like a really good idea. Yeah, it's all done. Sounds good to me. We're good to go in that department. Let's get the shutter down up here. Yeah. We'll show you just how good it looks. Right, let's turn this thing around. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure this is still recording. So, guys, I've called in Will, the guy that's been doing my uh, saucy B-roll today. But yeah, we're gonna hand it over to him now and you're gonna see the visuals, or at least you're gonna see just how good the car looks from his point of view. So I'm gonna switch off my camera and we're gonna swiftly move over to Will's. Right guys, as you know, we have passed all the filming over to Will who is behind the camera right now. As you're probably noticing, it is quite dark already, but that is for good reason. It's to demonstrate the lights to their full potential. So I'm gonna go over now, I'm gonna switch on the halos, run through different options between the full beam, the dip beam, and also show the H11 fog units, which are the daytime running lights. So I'm gonna go over here now, get this done, and I'm gonna leave it to Will. Right guys, so the ignition's on. I'm gonna start with the side lights. We've got headlights and fog lights. And then we're gonna come over to full beam. Oh, no, that's the indicator, my bad. And then we're gonna go straight to full beam now. Guys, as you can see, auto beam, you've absolutely smashed it. If you own a Mark II Focus ST225 or an RS for that matter, if this hasn't shown you what you guys need to do to your car, then I don't know what will. 
I prefer these so much more than the fog lights, I must admit. And when I say the fog lights, I mean the RGBs. As cool as they are, I just think I'm a little bit old for them. But these look way better, and I just really pray that they come out well on the camera. So I really hope you guys can see it. I hope this video has done it justice. We've run you through a full fitting guide, thanks to Rich here at Asbo Autos. But there is a little bit that they wanted to mention. There is some charity related stuff that I want you guys to get on board with. Yeah, no worries. Thanks, guys. Um, yeah, we just want to um, mention that we're going to be on the 15th of this month doing a, a, a great Tommy sleep out, which is basically we're going to do a charity sleep out outside Rough um, to raise money for veterans who are sleeping rough themselves or injured possibly in, in the country. So we just wanted to shout out if you want to head over to our page, you can have a look, you can donate towards it. That would be great. I'll really stick appreciate a link it. in the description section for you. Super. So if they want to go and express any interest in that, they can. So guys, just go underneath the video. There will be a link. Obviously, you guys can just go look for Asbo Autos. It's pretty simple. But if you can't find it, like I said, just go in the drop down underneath the video. There will be a link to your page where they can find out any necessary information. Now, guys, I must offer a really quick shout out to Will from Express Media because without him, this video would not be as professional. Now, I'm the guy that just sticks my camera in auto mode. Now, because he knows what he's doing, naturally, I ask for his help. So, Will, I love you. All of your links are in the description section below. So if you guys want to get involved and want that kind of professionalism in your videos or simply want to go follow him or learn some stuff about Jim, you know who to speak to. Will, love you, but let's get back to the video. Peace. So it's been a great day. Obviously, the car is now done, which I'm going to show you in a second. I just had Rich moving his pride and joy over there, which to those of you who don't know is a custom ST150 build. Now, obviously, massive shout out to Asbo Autos, but I mentioned earlier on in today's video that there is going to be a little option for you guys to win the RGBs that we took out of the car. Now, I have the creative control to decide how, and well, not so much who wins, but certainly how you go about winning these. So what I'm going to say is, what do you reckon? The first person to use the link in the description section below to go and book in with Asbo Autos for any job, any job at all, provided it's a serious job and not just a sticker install or something. Long story short, to anyone that does that, that owns a Mark 6 Fiesta or an ST225 or a Mark 2 RS, these will come free of charge to you. So like I said, to reify the first person to book in with Asbo Autos in Kelly Bray, Cornwall, just outside of Callington, will win the color changing app controlled auto beam RGB lights free of charge. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna go and show you just how good these look because I appreciate that the video earlier, everything was a little bit glared. So Rich, I'm gonna take you outside for a second, mate. And we're gonna go and see just how sick they look before we tie up today's video. See you in a bit. Right, Rich, thank you so much for your help today. Obviously, it's been a, been a while since we filmed out here doing the uh, Direnza intercooler video. But yeah, we did the RS clutch, we did the forge reset valve, and we also did the intercooler. But I think it's about time that we switch on these lights and show them a close up as to just how good they look. So big shout out to Water Beam, guys. I will stick a link in the description section below if you want to cop some for yourself. But anyway, I'm gonna stop waffling. I'm gonna show you how good they look so that you guys know before finishing today's video, whether these are worth your time. Right, Rich, despite the wind, switch them on and I'll show everyone a close up of just how good they look. Right guys, so ignore my regular lights. I appreciate that you can see that I have got the halos in there. But what you're gonna notice with these, if I get close up, is that they're separated. As you can see, they're cut out in the middle. They offer a, a similar vibe to halos, but I think they look quite unique. And they certainly make this car stand out. Right, so Rich, you did mention off camera that the Mark 6 Fiesta that I may have mentioned earlier actually fits them as well, is that right? Yes, yeah, the same, same fault light, so they should fit. Are you sure? Because obviously there are going to be people that might have a Mark 6 Fiesta yeah, that no, might think I'm, I'm going to go grab I'm some of those. I'm pretty sure. I mean, I'm going to try them out on mine. So. You'll have to let them know, obviously. Um, I'm sure we can update them in a future video. But yeah, I'm super happy with these. Rich, thank you so much for your help. Massively appreciated. Big shout out to Asbo Autos for hosting me in today's video. Obviously, if you're local to Devon, Cornwall, Southwest area, and you want anything done on your car, more specifically, fast forward, you know where to go. So Rich, do you have anything to say before I tie up today's video? Just, uh, Come down to Asbo. Down, yeah. Peace, man. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. I love you. I'm going to head off now. But guys, thank you for tuning in. We love you as always. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.